everyone. Welcome to my channel, Never Too Late. It's Kim here. I'm here today with another Thread Up unboxing. This one is a box I've never gotten before. I did get it when it was 20% off, so I figured when they're having the 20% off, that's the time to try new boxes. So this is the denim box. It is 30 pounds of denim. It could be jeans, it could be shorts, it could be jackets, there could be flaws, it can be any size, and it's 30 pounds, however many items that is. Um, it's normally $32, so it's definitely one of the lower price boxes, and with 30 pounds, I think even at full price, you're, you know, the possibility of making your money back or and making some money is definitely there. Um, but anyway, with the 20% off, it, it came through $37.73, when you add it in the shipping and the um, tax. So, and this box, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those videos. This box came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So here, I'm gonna try to lift it up and show you. It is a big box. Like I said, 30 pounds. So here it is, 30 pound box. Yikes, it's a big one. All right, I'm gonna open it. And I'll do my best to show you like a first look, but like I said, it's a heavy box. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through each pair. You know, as I see them, I'll let you know what I think. Um, some of them I might not end up listing. There may be some that I donate or, you know, see if I have any friends that are that size that might want them. So we'll see. Tape stuck. Okay. Let me show you Ooh, the first Oh, good Lord. Here's the first look. Take the paper off. Here we go. Oh, I thought on the top. I'm not mad about that. All right, let's see. Let's hope they're not all skinny jeans. All right, I'm going to go with these Izod's first. Izod Comfort Stretch 3830. Okay, not not mad. Okay, so let me move this over here oh, as much as possible. Okay, so here are the Izod's. These are a decent size. These look like they are men's. There is a little wear, but overall they look pretty good. Kind of a wider leg. Um, definitely some, you know, it's hard to know these days if that was intentional or if that happened with wear. Probably intentional, but Izod. Let's make sure the zipper works. These are nice. I will, I, I really think I will list these. I think Izod, probably not for a whole lot, but, um, yeah. I'm guessing men's though, so probably will list these. These look pretty good on first glance. And then, you know, obviously I will look them over closer before I list them. And I have to say that when you, <laughs> it's funny because you can look at it in a video or when you're in the store or at the bins or whatever, and it looks great. And then you start photographing it or steaming it and you find all the flaws that you didn't see. All right. This is a brand. I don't, don't think, I don't know if I know this brand. Is this the brand? Yeah, it is called Hip Slung. Never seen that. Hip slung um, 29 short. Looks like it's pretty low rise. Um, zipper works. Not skinny. Okay. Not mad about these either. And you know, given the little bit that I probably per pair it's going to be, I don't need to sell them for a lot. I mean, hopefully I get a pair or two in there, you know, that, that will go for a bit. But if not, you know, even if I can just sell a bunch of them for a bit, that's fine too. This is Osborne Traditional Elegance. These look skinny. They do look skinny. Kind of a, maybe a medium to dark wash. I'd say more of a medium wash. They're small and I don't, yes, here is, a, is there a size here? Got to change out the glasses. Got to put on the strong glasses. 
for the tiny print. 26. They are a 26. So pretty small, but you know, I could tell that just by looking at them. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to look into these more. They are skinny. Um, like I personally still like skinny jeans. I don't know, they've just they fit me right. I even though though part of me is skinny. <laughs> but I don't know. Some people still like them, so I'll just have to look into them and see. What is this? Oh my. Then Venezia, 22-24. Okay, I'm not mad about this either. Look at this. Look at this. It almost looks like it could be Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, huh? Look at that. How fun is that? I love this. Look at the, the buttons. And the, the, oh, this is so cute. So cool. And then it has kind of a longer cuff with the uh, matching buttons. And then the back. And it doesn't have a collar. Okay, this is cool. This is very cool. I will definitely be listing this. I'll need to do some research and see if maybe it's vintage. Because, I mean, the tag is not really saying vintage to me. But it's definitely very, very cool. Oh, I do see where there is a flaw. I think there was supposed to, there's like a hook and eyes on the back of here, if you can see. Um, and the top one is missing. But, you know, I can just, the rest of them seem to be there, though. So that's how it would actually fasten with the hook and eyes. Um, this is cool. I like this. What size are you, my friend? 22, 24 too small for me. Darn it. Um, yeah, I'm going to look into this some more and see what I can find out about it, but that is a very cool jacket. So far, I'm, I'm better than I thought so far. Here's what I thought I would be getting over and over again. Like, this is what, <laughs> here's my expectation. Hollister skinny jeans. <laughs> yeah, these are a 25, 28, mid-rise, super skinny, Hollister stretch, um, with distressing, um, likely will donate these, it's a tiny size, they're skinny, you know, I'm not sure it would be worth the effort <laughs> it would take to photograph them, and I have to say, I do really hate photographing denim jeans. Okay, another stretch pair. Um, these are time and true size four, high rise jegging. These are probably going to be donated as well. It's just a matter of is the, the time reward kind of thing. Is it worth the time? I have a lot of great stuff to get listed and photographed. So I don't want to spend a lot of time on something that's just going to sit and sit and sit and would only bring me maybe a few dollars anyway. Um, but I can donate these and someone the size, the right size might, you know, come across them, give them another chance. These are another pair of time, of time and true skinnies. I'm trying to think if I know anybody this tiny, <laughs> I would happily give them to, this looks to be new with tags. Not mad about that. I actually did just sell a pair of white jeans this week. Um, they were White House Black Labels. Am I saying that right? These are Vince Camuto. They are new with tags. Vince Camuto 3010 is what it says. I'm not sure exactly what that size is, but I do see a little flaw here. Um, there is, I don't know if you can really see it, but there is ink, ink on the pocket right here. It's kind of hard to see, but there's, it's like, um, like a fountain pen or something. And these do look a little skinny, but they are new with tags. Um, I'll see if I can get that white out. If not, I'll just list them and note the flaw, but these are probably worth giving a shot since they are white and I feel like spring is the time for white denim. They are white and they are also um, new with tags. Even with a little bit of a flaw, I think there's still something there. 
All right, these are from Levi's, I think. Yes, these are Levi's wedgie fit. Why would you want a wedgie fit? This is when I show my age right here. I personally did everything I, I, I do everything I can manage to do to avoid a wedgie. <laughs> Obviously, I'm missing something. <laughs> so these are a wedgie fit high rise snug through and through. So new, like I said, new with tag size 28. Perfect time to be listing denim shorts and they are button fly. So these are great. So far, I, I'm almost thinking I probably have enough right there to make my money. This looks like, is this a skirt? Divided, H&M divided skirt. I have so many denim skirts that I've listed. So this will, I'll add this to the pile. I like denim skirts. I know that maybe this style isn't quite in right now, but you know, I have faith. I have faith. I will list it. Skirts take three seconds to photograph. They're easy to list, easy to photograph. So I will do this one too as well. All right. These looks like, are these, no, these, I thought these were going to be skinny jeans, but these are very wide leg. These might be too wide. <laughs> these are very wide leg. These are the wide leg size 10 everyday soft wide leg. Um, from, yeah, these are, um, White House Black Label, I think. And these are definitely a stretch. So is there a lot of puckering? I see a little, but not too bad. All right. I might, no, these are going to be too small for me. They said they were size 10. Never mind. If these were my size, I would give them a shot. I will probably end up listing them. I'll have to look them over closer, but there's a chance I'll list these. I love, okay, I'm just going to show you the pocket. I think the pocket is super cute. Look at that. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but super cute. This looks like a skirt. Okay, this is from Rain, something Rain. Ardigo and Degro? I don't, I don't know. It's a size 7. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, I've never seen this label. It's their dark wash there. It's got some stretch, like just a cute little, very plain distressed rough hem or raw hem, um, little denim skirt. I'm okay with that too. Like I said, skirts are just so easy for me anyway. I know it's funny how some people hate some things and other people, like I've watched people that say they hate doing skirts and some people hate doing dresses and you know it's like everyone has every reseller has that one little one little part of the world that they are just not that crazy about um for me it's pants i hate it's pants but whatever i'm getting so much faster though so i don't dislike them nearly as much as i used to I'm getting a lot of denim skirts which you know like i said quick and easy i'll list them fairly cheap and maybe We'll see. This is cute though. It's got kind of a little ruffle on the top and then a tie. I think this is adorable. It is a size small from Angel Kiss Denim Collection, but I think this is kind of cute. And then the back just has your standard pockets. I think it's just my own bias that I personally just love denim skirts. Okay. We have some kind of green ones. This is NYDJ, New York something, size 10, fit is everything, and Amy Skinny, lift and tuck technology. Okay, what do we have here? Looks like we do have some, um, maybe some bleaching or something there. I do like the color though. I mean, I'll have to see if that's bleach. I, there's nothing I can do about it, but I like the style. I like that it does have, um, yeah, definitely. I don't know what happened to these, but I'll look more into these possibly might list them mainly just because it, it's an interesting color and you don't see it very often. So, or I haven't seen it that often. All right, moving on to Sonoma. Um, Sonoma jeans. Um, these I will most likely donate as well. 
Oh my, these are very distressed. These are from Silver. Silver Suki? Or Silver, and I don't know. Silver Jeans Company. Okay, Silver Jeans Company, the Suki Mid Boot 3031. Oh, okay. These are this. I think this is like a Western brand. I like that. It's got double button. Very distressed. I'll show you. Kind of a, a boot boot cut there. And then I like the pockets. I guess that's supposed to be an S for Suki. And then this. I like these. I will definitely be listing these. These are I, these are fun. These are fun. Not sure what the resale value will be, but they're fun, and I think there's going to be someone out there that will really enjoy them. So, And you know, for me, honestly, that's half of it, is just getting things to people that they'll enjoy. I love just getting clothes a new home. Um, this is L8 Regular. It looks like... What is that? Just a... It doesn't look too skinny. Um, it's got a little bit of embroidery on the pocket. Um, what did I say? It was eight regular, so it's not a teeny tiny size. I'll, I'll do some research into these. So, so far the keep versus the donate pile, or at least the possible versus the donate pile. I'm, I'm in the, in the positives. Oh, we have some overalls from Forever 21 Los Angeles size medium. You know, I love overalls. I don't, they don't fit me that well. These are, these are cute. They have kind of white on the hardware there. Um, I will, I will list these. I won't expect to get very much for them, but I will list them. Was there a size? Did I say a size? Yes, medium. Okay, I did. All right interesting color too. It's kind of not your normal denim blue. It's kind of a brighter blue. Pretty soon I'm going to have the falling over pile of denim. All right. Shorts or micro mini? Shorts. These are from Mother. Okay. I will take it. I will take Mother denim. Button fly. Mother shorts. This box is, this box is not making me mad. This box is definitely not making me upset. And we still have several pairs to go. Page jeans. Okay. I'm okay with this too. Um, these are the Verduga ankle. Um, is there a size? Page 28. These look like a pretty, pretty low rise. Um, puckering. There is... It does look like there's some puckering there. And they are a smaller size. They are skinny. Um, I don't know. I'll have to figure this one out. May or may not list them. Um... Levi's. And the Levi's patch is still there. Um, Levi's. Shaping straight, size 27. These are 314 shaping straights. Kind of a lighter wash. They're a small size, but I'm okay. I'm okay with these as well. I mean, with the, with the jeans, they're not going to go to my highest priority to list. So they will probably go in the box with fall stuff. And then I will most likely just list them as I get a chance. And if not, they'll be in my fall pile to get listed at the end of the summer. Um, but if you do see something that you're really interested in, you know, let me know on the, um, in the comments and then I can make sure I get those listed soon. And I am, I know I've said this several times in videos, but maybe I'll have it done by the time this video airs, but I am working on some direct sales stuff. And if that is the case, by the time this video airs, I will put it in there for you. Um, these are Massimo 
black denim. Um, size 10. Meh, I don't know. I'm going to put them in the donate pile for the moment. We'll see. Um, made well. Made well. Where's the size? Okay. 10 inch high rise, skinny, size 29. Made well. I just listed. There's the M on the pocket. I just listed a pair of Madewell maternity jeans the other day. All right, I think we're down to maybe like the last six, five or six pairs. These are kind of cute. Look, all of the tags are cut out though. Is there anything to tell me what they are? Nothing. These look like, oh wait, we have something on the button. It just says jeans. There's like another letter or two, but I can't see it. Let's get the uh, bright glasses on. To... No, it just says jeans, 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 jeans. Just a lot of jeans. Uh, material tag or anything in here? Nope. All of the tags have been cut out. All right. Well, I can always measure these. These look like, you know, you're like old fashioned mom jeans to me. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm getting the wrong impression from them, but they just look very high waisted. <laughs> I will probably list these because they're kind of interesting. All right. Before I make myself lined with those magnifying glasses. Let's get the regular ones back on. All right, let's see what we have left. We have one, two, three, four, five pairs, six pairs left. We have six pairs left. Okay, Lucky Brand. I remember when Lucky Brand were just the, the jeans. Zipper. Um, these are definitely some very skinny, very skinny skinnies, very small, um, size 427 ankle. I don't know. Distressed, very distressed. Um, it's in the, 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 I got to think about it pile. <laughs> I feel like the rest of these, like they're getting smaller and smaller. French, French something jeans, French treat, French toast, French toast. I remember French toast brand now. Size 12. Are these, these are, these are kids. These are definitely kids jeans. Size 12 French toast. That's definitely a kid's brand. Um, might list those. Yeah, stuff got in the maybe pile too. All right, mom jean, American Eagle, American Eagle, the mom jean, comfort stretch waistband. And they are very distressed. Let's see if the zipper works. Okay. These are size US 8 short. Very distressed. too bad. Not too bad a shape. I think things have already started falling back there. All right. We have another interesting color. Everlane. Okay. These look like they may have been taken in, in the waist. Let's see what size. Is there a size? I'm not seeing a size anywhere. Okay, let me show you what I mean. If you look here, there looks like darts were taken in. So these definitely look like they were taken in at the waist. Um, 
They are kind of a, like a boot cut, I guess. Um, I do like the color, but definitely have been altered. So if I do end up listing, I will take very detailed pictures of these and put the waist measurement in the listing so everyone will know, you know, what they actually, what the actual fit is at this point. But there was no size in them anyway, so... All right, these don't seem to have any label. They feel very, very rough. Spring flower sportswear. Um, okay, I'm thinking I'll donate these. They just don't feel good. Yeah, they really don't feel good. They just feel really rough. They don't feel like nice denim. Um, okay, last pair. Now these are very soft. Looks like they have some residue from the box. It's kind of, they're kind of an off-white cream color. They are Vivi's type. Vivi's, Vivi's type. No idea. Never heard of it. Size small. They do look very small. They're kind of a cream color. Kind of a skinny. Um, no idea. Given the size and the fact that I've never heard of them, I might have to do some research. I don't know. All right, well, let's count, which means I'm going to have to bend down to the floor. Actually, yeah, let's just count. We'll count together. We'll do it fast, though. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that worked out well. So I have 10, 10 pairs that I think it's likely I'm not going to use. So let's count the ones that I think I'm a little more hopeful with. Okay. So we have one, two, I put them on a chair, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20. All right, so we had a total of 30 pairs. And trying to find the part of the lid. Here we go. I said it worked out to $37.73. So a dollar something a pair. I'm okay with that. That's, that's a good... If I keep 20 pairs and I just put the 20, we're still not talking, not, you know, about $2 a pair. So if I sell 20 pairs and my cost of goods for those 20 pairs is $2 a pair, very, very good chance of even making a profit on this box. So not mad about this box. I've seen denim box unboxings and I have to say this exceeded my expectations from what I've seen. So I'm happy, 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 happy. All right. <laughs> this is a little bit longer one because there's so much in the box. So what do you think? Was it worth it? I think it was. I really think it was. Would I do it again? Yeah, I think I would do it again. Not for a while because it's going to take me a while to get through this much denim listing and stuff with all the other things that I have. Um, but I would do it again with the 20% off, maybe even without it, if I really was looking for some denim. And, you know, in the thrift store now, the jeans have just gotten so much more expensive. Um, so, you know, getting, being able to spend only $2 or something like that a pair is kind of tempting. So, yeah, I think I probably will get it again, maybe even for regular price, which you know, wouldn't be all of that much more because let's be honest, 20% off of 32 is not as much as the 20% off of some of the more expensive boxes. So, um, 
Yeah. My favorite item, definitely that jacket. I am obsessed with that jacket. I really need to do some research. It just is so cool in my mind. Maybe everyone else is saying, oh God, that's really ugly. That's so out of style. Nobody wants that. I think it's cool looking. But then again, you know, my idea of style really does not follow trends. It's just the, what I like. Um, so I probably like a lot of things that are not trendy. <laughs> Um, I do kind of trying to be better about following trends for resale because, you know, I know that most people are not like me. <laughs> so anyway, I, I mean, I'm happy. Let me know what you think. Uh, what was your favorite item? And also if there's anything in here that you really loved and you're interested in, um, leave me a comment, let me know, and I will try to make sure I get that listed or give you information on how to buy directly from me if I can get that sorted. I've just been, I keep putting it off because I just have so much to listen. I'm so excited to get things listed for spring. Um, yeah, that's what's been happening. That's just the truth. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me and watching. I'm working my way through my, my big pile of thread of boxes so that I can pull out anything to list that, you know, I really want to list for the spring. So I will be sprinkling these, um, videos out through uh, the upcoming weeks. Um, but I was just going to go ahead and get them made and then have them, um, ready edited and ready to go so I can release them. Plus, like I said, I can get anything spring and fall out of the boxes that I, I want to get listed as quickly as possible. So rather than just having a big tower of them. All right. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy this type of comment content, please do and leave me a like and a comment if you would be so kind. Okay. Remember that it is never too late. You know, it's just, never too late to, I don't know, just invest in yourself. I, I know that sounds really kind of trite, <laughs> but, and what I mean is not necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean money, although maybe, you know, maybe that is something that you could or would want to do. Um, Certainly a massage or a spa treatment or something like that, if that is something that you really enjoy and, you know, can afford, then I think that's an amazing thing to do to invest in yourself. But, you know, investing in yourself can just be so simple. It can just be giving yourself, giving yourself permission to take time for yourself. Um, a hot bath, um, reading that book that you've been meaning to read, but just haven't had the time. You know, there are so many ways that we can give ourselves some time and some love. And, you know, I think most of my viewers are women. Um, so you men out there, this goes for you as well. But I think in my experience, women, and I think, you know, there's always, it, this is, I'm kind of making a generality here, but that does not mean it doesn't apply to men as well, but have this tendency to, like, um, put everyone else's needs first. Like, I would say my husband is definitely like that. He is definitely a man who puts other people's needs above his own. Um, but I think as women, especially as mothers, as caregivers, um, you know, it just seems that we're always putting other people first, uh, other people's needs first. Um, and that is important. It is important to meet the needs of the people around you. It is important to be there for the people around you a hundred percent. But I know you probably heard this a million times, but it's so true. If we take care of ourselves, then we're better able to be of service, be, uh, you know, of use to the people around us. So take some time and invest in yourself, whatever that might mean to you. Um, you know, for different people, it's different things. Taking a walk, taking a hike through the woods. I know for me, that is just being in nature is so rejuvenating for me being around, you know, walking through the woods, with the trees and the wind stirring and blowing leaves and just maybe seeing a squirrel or something else scamper around, not a snake. I like to avoid walking on them. <laughs> I'm not like terrified of snakes, but I don't like them being places when I don't know they're there. <laughs> Same with spiders. Um, but you know, that just really rejuvenates me. If I lived by the beach, close to the beach, 
I would be walking on the beach at least three times a week because that just totally brings me back to life. So, you know, it's different for everybody. Um, find the things that work for you and invest some time in yourself. All right. I'm going to be done now. I can't wait to hear what you think about this box. And I will, of course, while I'm editing, if I've had time to research whatever I've researched and found any information about, I will put up on the screen for you. So hopefully I'll have more information on some of the stuff. You can bet that that jacket's going to get researched probably first. <laughs> all right. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I always forget my remote. <laughs>